The family of murdered teenager Junior Guzman Feliz tonight speaking out about two separate attempts to rip them off. A family that's already in mourning victimized again. And now the New York Attorney General investigating all of this. Has the family signed away their rights to Junior's name? This as the community continues to grapple with the future of what the bodega that was the scene of the crime, what should happen to that? Here's Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nelson. The bodega where 15-year-old Junior Guzman Feliz was brutally stabbed to death remains a shrine to the teen and the focal point for a community still in mourning. Well, I think he's a blessing. I feel his spirit in here every time I come here. The bodega never reopened since that horrific night in June, but now has been sold, possibly to become a bodega yet again. Tonight, though, neighbors, activists, and Junior's mother gathered once again at the murder scene, demanding that something else, not a store, occupy this now infamous Bronx corner. We were here to demand that the store be, well, the location be repurposed with purpose as a community center. It should be something open for the community and the youth, somewhere that they could come and have youth mentors and people that could make them feel like they protected and feel safe. It's not known who the new owner is or exactly what plans they have for the space, but residents here say whatever comes next must stand. For something larger. Anything that they need help with, resources for the community to keep them engaged so they won't feel that they have to turn to gangs or criminal life. Meantime, Junior's family is also speaking out against some groups that they say are using this murder as a money raising scam. At the moment, I don't have no agree with any foundation yet. The state attorney general's office did release a statement tonight saying the office is investigating certain unregistered charities that claim to be supporting Junior's family. They're encouraging anyone with information to reach out. In that statement today, the attorney general's office did mention two charities in particular that are now under investigation, the so-called Justice for Junior Foundation and the New York State Community Affairs Bureau. Again, anyone with information should reach out to authorities.